pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boyk, present. Zuber, Bruner, present. Farnham, here. Helsley, here. Janice, here. Patrick, here. Next item on the agenda: the minutes for the January 9th meeting. I move their approval, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Jeff, or second. I second. Second by Dan. All in favor say aye. 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 Same sign. Motion carried. <coughs> Minutes of the January 31st special meeting. <coughs> so moved. Second. The motion and second by the Jeff. All in favor say aye. 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 Same sign. Motion carried. Uh, Claims against the county. I would move that we pay the claims against the county. That just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Motion by Ben for your second. Yeah, that's all the bills. Yes. I have a question. <coughs> okay. Uh, there were three checks made out to Knight and Associates for surveying, and according to the state, they have. Uh, Pulled the funds out for Knight and Associates. Are these bills that were projects that they're paying for before the removal of the funding? Is there somebody from the highway here that can answer that question? No. Oh. They're in here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, we could, we'd have to go pull the paperwork on that. Day. That's all right. I, I wondered if it's maybe that's <coughs> the projects that were. Completed before the uh, state pulled the funding for a particular project. What makes you think they did that? That's a letter right here. It says they did. Can I see it? Sure. If I remember right, that was an agreement <coughs> for some future project, if I remember right. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Are these for projects that had already been completed by the survey company? If not, then the money would have to come from the county, not from the state. Well, that doesn't say where it's coming from. Well, this is from Aaron Lawson. It's not from the state. It says they pulled it. I know it's not coming out of motor fuel. Okay, well, and that's that was question. what that's that fine. was okay. the question on yeah. that previous problem. Okay, that's fine. I problem. Yes. yes. Okay. Then it's fine. This is actually, I think it's. County Bridge. Right. Yes. So the project that's, already been completed. Yeah, that's okay. separate from the motor fuel tax. But yes. I just saw the name of it. So right. I, that I, saw the <coughs> I second. Second by Jeff. All in favor say aye. 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 Same side. Motion carried. Uh, county board members claims. We did that, didn't we? I'll make a motion that we pay that. <coughs> Seconded by Jeff. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Uh, next item on the agenda public session. Any comments? <coughs> well, meeting, Mr. Patrick, you had a question for me in regards to the driveway investigation that IDOT was doing. Uh, would you like to share with what those results were? Do you have the results? No, I do not. That's why I didn't last time, and I still don't have the results. Would you like to share those? You said you had the results. I have no. Okay. The quote that I said, this is directly off the video, there is go ongoing investigations. I turned and looked at you in the audience, and I said, Mr. Patrick, you're actually part of an IDOT investigation. I don't know if you're aware of that or not, comma, for free driveways. You're going to be a new county board member. You sit, on the, you sit out at the airport. Were you aware of this breastfeeding thing? And you said no comment. That was my statement, sir. 
what you implied at the last meeting was incorrect. <coughs> How much was the CD gifted to the airport? <coughs> no comment. Who gifted it to the airport? No comment. No matter what statute you want to operate under out there, any person desiring to make any donation or legacy of any money, personal property, or real estate for the benefit of such airport shall have the right to vest the title to the money, personal property, or real estate so donated in the Board of Directors. The other statute is in the Commissioner's control. To be held in control by such board when accepted according to the terms of the deed, gift, or legacy of such property and as of such property, the Board of Directors shall be held and considered to be special trustees and shall include in the annual report a complete report of their acts as such trustees. Where in an annual report has that CD been disclosed? It's in the minutes, but it's not in the records with the Treasurer's Office. The Treasurer's responsible for all revenue in this county. Why hasn't the CD been reported to the Treasurer? You were the Chairman of that Board for 25 years, I believe, is what you told the Farm Bureau when you ran for election. Under what authority permits you to put your name and Jimmy Wells' name on that CD? No comment again. Who's managing the money reported in the airport minutes for the pancake breakfast? You said that it was a separate entity at the last meeting. Why is private business revenues being discussed and documented in public records for the minutes? A little bit of co-mingling out there, isn't it? What statute are you operating under at the airport? I asked that in November, I've asked in December, I've asked in January, I've asked in February. Any idea? No comment. Under the specific statute that applies, whether you pick one or the other, doesn't matter. Vacancies in the Board of Directors, occasional by removal, resignation, or otherwise, shall be reported to the County Board or the governing authorities of the respective taxing body, appointing the Director, and shall be filled in like manner as original appointments. No Director shall receive compensation as such or be interested either directly or indirectly in the purchase or sale of any supplies or equipment, land or other facilities, or in any contract on behalf of the airport landing field. 2008, 2009, and 2010, <coughs> Mr. Patrick, you, you billed and received over $7,000 to presumably ready mix on behalf of the airport. Do you not see that as a conflict of interest, sir? <coughs> no comment? In December, your very first month in office, you billed, you sent three different invoices to this public body. You're the chairman of this public body. You received payments for that. Is that not a conflict of interest? No comment. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your comments. Anybody else? <clears throat> With respect to the CD, um, when funds are donated, they become public funds, and the public has a right to know, not an option to freaking know. And I think you deserve to, you have to tell people who it came from, how much it was, where it was spent, and if there's still, still any left. It's a right to know, not an option. Number 12 on your agenda. Chris Wynn Area Community Club. Is that the name of the organization? Does anybody know? Are they a not-for-profit? Are they registered with the state? Not showing up on their website. Thank you. Anybody else? I'm Mayor of Metcalf. On behalf of Metcalf, we're in jeopardy of our project Ike Grant and our stop sign project. And I'm here on behalf of the village of Metcalf to find answers why. Why there's a conflict that stopped or possibly stopped our projects and our money that the state awarded our village. I'm asking the board to find answers for us. Thank you. I'm Mayor Brockton. I've got the same request. I'd like some answers. You know, we've been informed that our stop sign grant is on hold now because of <coughs> conflict of interest with the county board and our I grant, which is a very uh, interesting drainage project going on in Brockton, a very necessary project, and I'd like to know what's going on with it. Yeah. <coughs> I 
ask you a question? Sure. You said you'd been informed that the money had been stopped? That's what I was informed. Uh, did you get that in writing? No. <coughs> if you could get a copy of that in writing, uh, I would really like to see it. If I get it in writing, I'll get it to you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. To inform yeah. you of that, my question, who informed me of this? I was told this by the county highway. Is that the same person, the place you was told that? Who was going to told you that you didn't? Okay. I assume they county when highway. Say, yeah, when you say county highway, <clears throat> who at the county highway? I talked to uh, Jimmy Moorcraft one day last week, and he told me that the stop sign project was on hold, and that uh, the Ike Grant project was in jeopardy. And it was because of the conflict, <coughs> the, the, the conflict of interest there. that's going on with Ike Stop sign project. Chris Patton. Okay. Yeah, I thought the money had already been. Yeah, we was told by Aaron that the money was already allocated for that, and we already had that. Well, let me reiterate on that. That money on that I grant project comes to Brockton and to Metcalf. We administer that. Yeah, that money so comes to us, sign. and it's my understanding that this county board has signed contracts that has taken over control with our contractors to do this job. Now, I can't tell you the legalities of it. I don't know. That's why I'm here today to find out. You obviously don't have the answers, but I would sure like to have them myself, yeah. as with Cheryl, Trish as Vitale, with Kansas. Trish Vitale, who is administrating the Ike projects for Edgar County Highway Department, did tell me that it is possible that it will affect our grants because we have an intergovernmental agreement with the Edgar County Highway Department. I've talked to Aaron Lawson a couple times, and he also made the same basic statement that the funding is on hold until the conflict of interest is resolved. And I've talked to him a couple times, and I am, I am on the hold of fuel, ta fuel tax committee. And you're chairman of it. Right. That's his time. Both, both of these de uh, projects have <coughs> online deadlines. And it's coming quick. And they're coming quick, and we simply can't afford to wait on just getting it postponed and put off and put off. That's why I took a day off work to be here today. So I'd like some answers. Yeah. Actually, we'd all like some answers, quite frankly. Anybody else? I want to thank you all for your comments. <clears throat> we'll move forward. The next item on the agenda. A motion to commit an appropriation funds to... Did somebody say something? Motion to commit to appropriate funds to various departments for non-elected employee salary increases with said increases determined by department heads. Mr. Chairman, the amount uh, we're talking about of appro new appropriations that we're committing to is $17,650. The total recommendation of both non, or not new, but uh, already appropriated and new, appro uh, new commitment is $18,650. Uh, the committee has reviewed that, looked at each department, and uh, we will be going, if this motion passes, we will go out to each each uh, department, <coughs> let them know how we figured it, let, let them then deal with it how, however they deem appropriate. So I would like to move the approval of the uh, motion. I have, I have one question. Yes, sir. The this is not to hire new people. This is just to pay people that already positions that already exist. That's correct. Okay. Yes, Mr. Boyd. When was the last time any county office employees received an increase? Well, some have already received. There, are, it's 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 not a clear picture. Some departments <coughs> included stuff in their budget for this this fiscal year and have already given increases. We are going back to the departments that did not do that to catch them up and uh, give them uh, fresh monies to go ahead and do that. Well, I know my your office. question is this is the third year, oh, several employees, but right. not majority of the employees, non union employees, have not had a pay increase. I know that my, my office did not receive a standard increase for at least the I third year. Thank so you. this hopefully will help in those regards. Thank you. And can I make one comment just to reiterate for the record that this is for non elected employees and non union? And non union. I've got a motion on the floor by Jeff. Is there a second? I second. Second by Dan. Any other discussion? 
If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank motion you. Carried. Next item on the agenda, a motion to appoint Pete Spung to the East Central Illinois Mass Transit Board of Edgar County. I'll make a motion. Motion by Mike. We have a second. I second. Second by Dan. Any other discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, I entertain <coughs> uh, All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. <coughs> Next item, a resolution approving oath and bond and appointment of Dennis Carey as trustee of Brockton Community Fire Protection District. So moved. And a motion by Jeff, <coughs> second by Ben. Roll call. Voigt? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Helsley? Yes. Jens? Yes. Uh, number 12, action on request from the Christian the Christman Area Community Club to help support economic development with funds from County Hotel Motel Fund. Mr. Chairman, what they're asking for is $600 for advertising of a project they're having where they're having multiple vendors come to the park uh, for a day and they wanted money for advertising. Do you know what kind of multiple vendors? I'm just curious. Lawn, lawn equipment, uh, fertilizer, different things that pertain to, is that right? Well, you can tell what, what pertains Wouldn't to. Wouldn't we tell you mulch, uh, nursery products, uh, Browns from Cub Cadet is going to have lawn mowers, John Craig is going to have his thing, there's going to be a uh, Jeep rally up there, uh, there's going to be multiple things, okay. but it's all county vendors. Nurseries, right? Yeah. Nurseries, no, no out of county, it's okay. just for county vendors. And they'd like the advertising to bring in outside people. And the fund that the money comes from is actually <coughs> produced by the bed and breakfasts in Christmas. Isn't that correct, Don? That is correct. The only money that's been going into the county motor motor field <laughs> motel hotel tax fund has been generated at the uh, that bed and breakfast up there. I can't remember the name. Oh, in. Yeah, so say there's not another one in Edgar County other than the ones in northern Edgar County that's generating any, any money to announce anything? At one time, out on west on 36, the Randall property, I think, contributed it. That, I don't know how many years ago that's been. I And just so you know, I don't know what happens with them. The Super 8 and Parisian Motel. I'm assuming they pay into the, pay in the corporate authorities of Paris. Yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah. So the only money that I ever receive on a regular basis is from the old brick in. So the one south of Grandview and the one south of Kansas, you haven't seen any money from those in a while then? Not that I'm okay. aware of. You know, that does ring a bell though. I think it. Yeah. I how think, how much I, is in that fund approximately? It's on your list. Thirty-eight hundred. Thirty-eight hundred. Karen's telling me there's one south of Kansas. That I remember a bed and breakfast down there, but I didn't know. Yeah. Well, that's, well, that's all goes to Paris. That's, 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 that's yeah. I'll be glad to look into that. I mean, actually, the, we used to get all the money from the from the hotel motel. And actually, even before I got on the board, Paris found out that they had the right to take that if they wanted, and they they did. They did. Because <laughs> we actually at one time the county had quite a bit of money in there that they gave to any any city that had a project that they wanted money for. But then now that's Paris, and there's very little other than that. Well, that was my point of question: was that the majority of the money's coming from the Christmas area, and this is a Christmas area event. And and that's probably where the money should go. We'll make a motion. We'll give them six hundred dollars. I'll second it. Motion by Dan, second by Ben. Any other discussion? All in favor? I'd like a roll call, please. You want a roll call? Yes. Roll call. Voigt? Abstain. Bruner? Yes. 
Farnham? Yes. Helsley? Yes. Jenks? Yes. Motion carried. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Next item on the agenda, motion to acknowledge final transfer of Lori <coughs> Deed and escrow to Eric and Nicole Shaughnessy doing business as Edgar County Special Service Area Ambulance Incorporated. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Jeff. I hear a second. Second. Second by Mike. Any other discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, uh, same sign. Motion carried. Okay, next item. Resolution. <coughs> Authorizing County Board Chairman to execute <coughs> deed of conveyance for the following properties as recommended by Joseph E. Meyer, Edgar County Tax Agent. Parcel 09 13 35 477 0 15 Samuel L. Maxwell and Parcel 09 18 01 407 0 0 to Parish Union School District number 95. Motion. So moved. Motion by Jeff, second by Carl. Uh, roll call. Voigt? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Helsley? Yes. Jenks? Yes. yes. Care. <clears throat> Next item, motion to authorizing Edgar County Sheriff to execute right of entry agreement with Illinois Central Management Services through the Illinois Central Network to install fiber optic cables at the Edgar County Jail. Well, I want to know about a dollar. Yeah, yeah his, is that his budget for is the last year? Does it cost anything? Or? I don't know. Is anybody here representing them? He said he was supposed to be here, but I've obviously yeah. seen him. You know, no, I, I do not know. I'm, I'm not going to pay my I gave each of you a copy of that. Right, we have it here. Mm -hmm. If I remember, I read through this and I don't remember there being any I don't, there's there's no calls. Calls. I don't believe there is, but I don't <coughs> want to sit here and tell you because I, I don't know. For kind of like any table letting them do it, I don't mind. <laughs> but if there are questions, we can table this in the next meeting if that's... I make a motion that we table that until we uh, know exactly what it is. No, other than Ross was telling me that we're the, we're the ones holding up the whole project. Do you want me to? And so now, whatever you want to do, that's just what I told you. If you would, please. I'll yeah. call him. Now, would you excuse me? Pass it. Well, if it needs to be what done, now? if it needs to be done, let's yeah. find out a little more about it. We can it. just yeah. skip over this and go to another section of the agenda if you want. Let's see what you find out. We'll, we'll just. We'll go around that one for a minute, lack of information. So, uh, officer and department head reports. Since I forgot you last time, um, you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? I'd like to report to the board that uh, since we last met, um, uh, we had to convene the uh, Edgar County Officers Electoral Board uh, by statute, which was the first time that the county's ever had to do this, uh, regarding some objections to nominating petitions for candidates down in, um, some of the candidates down in the Clark Edgar uh, Water District. Um, we've met and that, those issues seem to have been uh, dealt with. So we're done with that. Uh, we have been busy certifying uh, ballots, uh, ballot certifications for the upcoming April 9th election, and uh, so we've been busy getting ready for that. Um, just busy answering a lot of FOIA requests, and uh, I think that's all. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, and also I want to remind and invite everybody to uh, my third annual Valentine's Day luncheon. That's tomorrow. You're all welcome to come. 
Uh, it's over in the, the voting center, which is just across from my office. What's uh, D? Huh? <laughs> what, what do you have? What do you bring? <laughs> it's kind of what I thought. <laughs> no, it's uh, my my employees and I are are supplying the food and everything. So it's just and animal shelter is going in with us, and so is Esda. And uh, it's just our way of saying thank you. We appreciate uh, everybody's cooperation that we work with. So you're all invited to that tomorrow from 11 to 1. You don't have to bring a thing. Thank you. Any other tips or Animal shelter? Yes. Everything's running smooth. No new news. Very good. We're good. Um, just to let the board know, we do start a two-week trial next Tuesday since we're gone Monday, so <coughs> I think security will be beefed up in the courthouse, but we don't anticipate any problems. No. Um, we will be um, sending out letters today. We are hosting um, a first responders meeting for all of Edgar County first responders. Um, everyone will be receiving a letter hopefully um, by tomorrow or the next day and we'll follow up with email. It is March 6th at 6 p.m. at the um, training center for the, front, for the fire, front, fire department training center. So we encourage all board members to come and again any first responder from Edgar County which they will receive a letter. Thank you. Don? Uh, as you can see from the report, we're, we're kind of holding our ground, even though we've had a demand batch, a regular batch, and a couple, three payrolls hit. We're, we're still holding our ground. So compared to a year ago, you can see we're about $210,000 better on our cash flow. Um, as far as anything else going on, the audit is slowly winding down. They're, um, doing a few follow-ups with some of the departments just to get some a little bit of information but other than that I I'm getting the impression that by the end of this week they will <coughs> be done and then be doing the fi the final stuff at their home location as far as at their office that's what I've been led to believe anyway do you, does anybody have any questions thank you very much. did I miss anybody if not, we're going to revert back to item 15, and Jeff, give us a little report. I, I talked to Ross. This is simply an agreement for them to put the fiber optics in the building. There's no costs associated with it. We have a separate agreement, which allows them to actually have service out there, and we get in kind from them use and so forth. So there is no associate, uh, cost associated. This is simply for them to put the fiber optics in and it covers them and us, and it's spelled, in fact, uh, there is a provision here where number two on page one, shall install da 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 da, is its sole cost and at its own cost and expense. So there is no cost, <coughs> yes, sir. So I got a motion by Carl to have a second. Yes. Second by Jeff. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. And we're down to committee reports. Jeff, what do you, do you Yeah, I'd like to thank all the departments uh, that came to that meeting since we had our last regular board meeting with the auditors. I think it was helpful. We got some issues resolved. And I'd like to thank all the departments. Uh, I think that pretty much everybody was represented there. And I think it's worked out well. I think, uh, you know, there's always problems with an audit, but I think it's, it's done well. Uh, I'm relying on Donnie here telling us that it is. Um, as far as the budget, I already covered that at the last uh, study session, but we are in fact heading in the direction we should be heading, and uh, we're watching everything all the time, and I think that's the key to it, is just to stay on top of it, and we'll do that. So I'd like to thank everybody, I'd like to thank the committee, and so we'll move on, and we'll be fine. Thank you. Carl? Union <coughs> negotiations are ongoing. Uh, we've got meetings set up with uh, both the jailers, dispatchers, and the road deputies for later this week. Mm -hmm. Mike? 
um, incident. Um, we had a meeting Tuesday night or Monday night. Um, kids uh, well on board but now we and, and, and is uh, planning all kinds of exercises and and uh, has done a, a remarkable job of transition and as quick as she has. So, I mean, there's nothing really. Okay. Good. Ben, oh, I wanted to add. That I didn't let you know because I can't, but I can now. The all the information on the hazard mitigation has been transmitted. That was an issue we discussed at the committee mm -hmm. meeting. Okay. And that has been done. They're checking it over. So if there's any flaws or defects, that we can get it caught up. But it did happen. Okay. Okay. Now, Ben. <coughs> Insurance. We we've, we've got three employees that are turning 65 <coughs> and going to remain working. So there's been ch there's changes in the insurance because you have the opportunity to get on Medicare. And we had an insurance committee meeting, and we there's some discounts at one place and additions other place, but it comes out to be about a wash. So we're recommending that uh, that the insurance stay as it is, that the, and hmm, the yeah, premiums, the premiums right. would remain the same. right, which is about is how it came out. When we, and on the airport, we had an airport meeting last night, and <coughs> the advisory board voted to recommend to Donna Bennett to replace Chris Patrick on the board at that meeting. And I don't know if it's appropriate that we do that now as a recommendation from the airport committee or if you have to. It needs to be on the agenda, actually. Then, we'll, then that'll need to be put on the agenda for the next meeting if that's the opinion of the chair. And we're going to have a special meeting next Tuesday, February 16th at 6 o'clock at the airport. We're still in the airport to discuss uh, leases and to try to, to get a lease. And we have a building and grounds meeting at 11 o'clock today. We need more meetings. <coughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> I'm that's, kidding. For the record. That's all I have on my report. Less government. Less government. Less government. Dan. Uh, animal shelter. I missed the meeting. I apologize. I called Andrew and apologized. But now my wife's in charge of my meeting, <coughs> meeting day, so she'll remind me when I have a meeting. So, <coughs> so I apologize. And uh, <coughs> motor fuel tax. Uh, I've talked there a couple times and things out there kind of up for grabs or on hold so until the conflict of interest is resolved so can't really report much on that but I met with him a couple times. How what kind of a time frame I what are we looking at there? No idea. Because I what kind of time frame are we up against on some of these so called things that are on hold? <coughs> where I mean has anybody identified where we're at on that? Where what kind of exposure we have? No, I Aaron was a basket case because he says he really can't do much so he finds out for sure on the conflict of interest. So right now the most of the funding has been withheld from his point of view. I don't know. I, this is what he says. What's he basing it on? I mean, is it telephone calls or carrier well, pigeon or has he got uh, some kind of a letter that says, here's what's going to happen, signed by so and so? He says he has letters. I think all of us have seen copies of the letters. So. You have a copy of the letters. So. I've got a copy uh, of a letter from Mr. Crow. I've Mr. Seen Lackey it. was at the meeting last week and made some comments. Right. So. I don't know, you have to ask him. Uh, I know I talked to him the other day, and there was one project that I think the deadline <laughs> to apply for it was around the first week of March. And, uh, and you guys yeah, you said there was a, yeah. a deadline on the Ike. What is Do you know what that deadline is? Of April. April. Well, why aren't we applying for it? I don't understand. If, if What's it going to hurt to apply for it? Well, 
So I got applied for for, for this deadline. Right. Yeah. We've already gone. Well, well he's talking about this deadline for this project. I'm saying deadline. I'm saying that he says that he needs it was money that has been without around state on these projects until the conflict of interest is resolved. Oh, no, what I mean. Okay. Right. So that's just why it tells me. So I'm not an expert on the highway department. No, I know. I, know. I, I, I don't expect you to be. I'm yeah. just wanting to know what's. Let's get to the bottom of this and get it solved. Well, it's supposed to be solved by the state. <laughs> I talked to Mark Isis on making a decision on the conflict of interest, and he has not made a definite decision on it. So, this particular time, no one has made a definite decision. And, and we can't make a decision right. without the opinion of the state's right. attorney or the attorney general. Right. So, basically, so our answer. Our hands are tied. So, our answer to Brockton and Medkiff is. <clears throat> get an answer from the state right. or, or, or the state's attorney. Right. And that's what we've requested. Yeah, and we made the request. And I made the request the other morning. I didn't get an answer. So. We're going to have to keep a close eye on this, and we just can't just let it go and go and go, uh, but we're still at their mercy. Right. But well, we've got to be conscious of I mean, these deadlines. Yes, yeah. nobody has made a <laughs> decision. So. We, but yeah. but we got to, it's up to us to see that we keep pushing it. We get an answer that we don't miss these deadlines. Because this is well, what, that's my question. When you say deadline, the deadline, what's what are you talking about? Deadline. I don't know. I can give you an answer if you want one. Well, yeah, I, I'll, I'll extract an answer from you. <coughs> On the one in particular is the path program adjacent to one of the roads. Right. There's a path, and that's I believe it's the DNR program. Okay. In order to have the application submitted, those applications require county board action with signatures of which Mr. Patrick would have to sign those because he signs contracts on behalf of the county and he can't sign those. Well, well the co the co chairman can sign. Mm -hmm. That's not what the law says. That's not what the state said either. The letter said he cannot. Sign. The letter said he cannot. Right. Okay. That's just not what uh, the county engineer told us, is it? So there's a way that we, the county board can pass something, and I haven't seen the document to make have someone else do the signing, vice chairman. And we're looking into that till we get a definite answer because I don't want these this money and these potential grants to go by the wayside. There's too much at stake here. But do you know whether whether Mr. Lawson has it, went ahead and done all the paperwork and has submitted it, and we're ready to? Okay. Yes. yes. On that. One particular yeah, yeah. thing okay. on that one is just yes. a matter of signing for the final application <coughs> for it. Right. Well, I guess the question in everybody's mind is why aren't we getting moving forward on getting this resolved? Oh, yeah. Well, we are. Right. <laughs> we are. I have a comment, well, please. I'm going to see to it that, that we can get something done. Okay. I've talked to Mr. Lawson right. and I'm going to, I'm pursuing it. Okay. Any other comments? Yeah. I just so you know, I was contacted by one <coughs> township supervisor. They just basically said they what they'd read in the paper and coffee shop talk wanted to make sure that the township motor fuel tax isn't in jeopardy. And Jeff happened to come in one day and he he's not aware of it being in jeopardy. But I'm at least relaying their concerns. And I've already gotten I'm not saying who been asked about the article in the paper last night about the the funding for the school the snide remark was so our taxes are going to go up even more I'm just saying it's that's that's the stuff I'm hearing out there and I and I don't I don't know that I agree with that I don't know if you've seen the article was it in last night's or the night before Gary which are basically that the state isn't going to pass yeah paying Paris 95 right I think that was a couple of yesterday. Yesterday. yeah okay and you know what, I read it and I, I think there's still light at the end of the tunnel, but I, once again, when you're dealing with the state, I don't know what kind of remedy they're going to, how punctual it's going to be as far as payment. So. Any other comments? You know, all I can say about this conflict of interest thing is we're waiting on the state. They have been written. I don't think that they, they use the word in jeopardy. I don't think they've said anything about not getting it, other than it's possible. And that seems to be one or two key persons of the state's opinion, and that seems to differ the higher up you get. So 
until we get a definitive written answer from the state. Uh, the feds have already given theirs, and you all have a copy of, of that letter. That was early on. So. Federal Highway Administration had already made their determination, so, and it was in conflict with the state, and they didn't agree. So anyway, it, it is being worked on. Um, we're waiting for the state to make a determination. Anything else? If not, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So, a motion by Carl, Jeff, and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. We're adjourned. Mr. Clerk, would you like the camera? <coughs> Thanks, Don. Yeah.